Well hello there and welcome back you lovely lot and welcome back to another Glittermas where we're going to open this lovely advent calendar from the Glitter Fairy and find out what's behind the door today. So we're on day 8 today and here we have it. Little wiggle, come on, here we go. Wow, look at that guys, look at that, it has butterflies, it has shards, it is gorgeous. So I couldn't make up my mind whether this was blue or lilac and I think it depends on the light and how it catches it. So they are very similar on the colour scale but the more I look at it the more I'm going to go for lilac. The more I was putting it on, the more I thought for well, I look. And it has the most gorgeous little butterflies in. And lots of shards. Oh, it was it was absolutely brilliant. I am loving these glitters. So as always, I go in with a small bead of clear acrylic on that plastic tip. That helps me to release those beads of glitter from the brush onto the tip. Working in small beads. Patting it down, making it flat, and making sure I've got coverage. So once I'm happy with that, I let that set, and then I will clear cap that fully and then file it into shape and then what I will do is clean it up so we, we can top coat it so I'm going in with the top coat and look at that baby shine it is stunning so give that a full cure look at it look at it Anyway, so we're going to be using Nail Nails and the Kylie Weary 3D brush. And today I'm going to attempt my very first 3D bow. Now, while I was waiting for the glitter to set, and then I encapsulated it and I waited for that to set, I got a tip out and I had a little practice first. And then I did this. So is that my first attempt or my second? I'm going to go for my second because I did practice first. And I, I saw where I was going wrong. So when it came to actually doing it on here, it helped to know. So you put down, I double dipped first. So I went into white and I went into that purple from Nail Nails. <coughs> and I put a small bead down and I wait for the bead to stop being shiny. Once the shine goes out of that bead, that's when I start to play with it. And what I'm doing is going from the side of the bead and I'm making a triangle and then I'm pushing it in from the side. So put that bead down. As it starts to manoeuvre slightly, I'll just start to shape it in the fact that I want it flat and I want it in a triangle. But I'm not going to start doing the bow bit with it till it starts to get a little bit matte. So then I start to push it in from the edge and then curve it round with the tip of my brush to get the sort of shape that I want. And I'm looking at it from all angles, I'm just checking it. Then I'm going to double dip again, come in with another bead that was far too big, chop it off at the bottom, sweep it off. And I'm going to make a triangle. Again, wait for it to go matte before I start manoeuvring it properly. Use the tip of my brush for the shape. And then the belly of my brush to widen that bottom section. To make the ribbon of this bow. Then once I'm happy with that. I will then come in and do the other side. Doing exactly the same.
So once I'm finished with both the ribbons on that, I'll then come in with another bead and I will do the little knot between the two bodies of that bow. And exactly the same, pop it on and then just work that until I'm happy and it's not gonna move anymore. And then that's it guys. That's the end of the video. I really do hope you've enjoyed this nail art design today. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you would. Thank you for tuning in today. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.